A slider rule works on a very simple principle, and that is something called the logarithm. What a logarithm is, uh, most people are familiar with uh, notation that says, um, let's see, 10 raised to the power of 2 equals 100. This is a power of 10, that's an exponent, and that's the number. The log of this is log base 10 from here of 100 from there equals 2. Most people are familiar with a calculator looking this way. If you turn it like that, it becomes what's called a scientific calculator. And if you put in 100 and hit this little button here that says log 10, it gives you what log 10 is, and that's 2. If 10 to the 1 equals 10, and 10 to the 2 equals 100, what number do you have to raise 10 by in order for it to equal 62.5? Because 62.5 is somewhere between 10 and 100, we know that the character of the log is going to be 1. 1 is the magnitude, and that means that it's going to be 10 to the 1. The 625 is going to be a fraction, or a, a decimal after it, generally four decimal places. All we have to do is put in 625 and hit log, and we find out it's going to be 0.7958. So if we raise 10 to the 1.7958, that should equal 62.5. Let's go see. 62.5, there we go. Let's go ahead and pull up the log of 2. And as you see, it's 0 0.3010, okay? Now, if we look at the slide rule, and we look down here at the bottom, we see a scale that says L. And if we take this out on the D scale to 2, we look down at L, and what do we have? Just over 0 0.3. We can come right out here, and we can find the log of 3 as well. And the log of 3 is going to be 4771. So if we add 0.4771 to the log of 2, we get 0.7781. What we just did was we took the log of 2, and we're putting our index right over that, because what we're going to do is we're going to come out here, and we're going to add the log of 3 to it on the C scale. And underneath, we should have the log of 6. And right down here on the log scale, You'll read we have 0 0.7, 0 0.75, 0 0.77, and about 0.78. That little log rule works. And that's how a slide rule does multiplication. Let me zoom this back out a little bit. A couple of quick techniques with, with how to use a slide rule. Uh, don't worry if you can't see the numbers. What we're doing right now is I'm just kind of showing you the technique. The first thing that you do is uh, you have to identify the parts of a slide rule. This whole thing right here is called the body of the slide rule. It's got an upper stator and a lower stator, and it's got the end caps here. And then it's got a movable slide in between it. And then it has this little plastic device, which is called a cursor. You may have heard of that before. And in the middle of the cursor, there's a little hairline. So what you do is, if you're going to take a number like two, you identify the two on the body of the slide rule, in this case, the lower stator. Then you put what's called the index right over it, and that's the little one on the slide. And then what you do is you move the cursor to multiply, move the slide to divide. So what I did right there was I started off at two and I moved it out to two, and right underneath it is four. So I've done that calculation, and then I want to divide it by three. So what I'll do is I'll subtract from four the log of three by putting it above it, and then I'll come down here and read my answer. So you move the cursor to multiply, you move the slide to divide. So we come out here to two, we put the index, which is the little one on the C scale, over it, and then on the C scale we go out to what we want to multiply two by in this case 3. And then we read down on the d scale our answer 6. Then to divide, 
we put the number we want to divide into 6 right over it, subtract that log, and we get our answer here of 3. What about this? Let's take 4 and multiply it by 6. So using our using our current knowledge what we do is we put the index right over the 4 and then we try and come out here to the 6 but there's no scale out here. Well that's kind of an interesting problem. Here, here's the solution or at least one of the solutions. We're going to do two more after this one. We have, a, we have an index on the other side of the slide as well and we can put that over the 4 come out here to 6 and read our answer here. 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. 2, 4. This brings up an interesting problem. Is that 2.4? Is it 24? Or is it 240? We don't, the slide rule does not tell us. We have to figure that out ourselves. That 6 times 4 is roughly somewhere between 10 and 100. All right, it's not more than 100, but it is more than 10. So it's probably going to be uh, 2.4 times 10 to the 1, which would be 24. Now, if we had 20 times 6, the way that we deal with exponents and we figure out the magnitude is that we add up the powers of 10. So we have 1 plus 0, so that would be 10 to the 1. Then what we can do is actually kind of estimate what these two numbers will equal when we multiply them together. Let's, uh, let's say that that's going to be 11. We're going to have 1.1 times 10 to the 1 plus 1 equals 2. So our answer is probably going to be in the range of 1.1 times 10 to the 2. So that's how we estimate our power of 10. And as you know, then what you would do is go through, this, go through and actually calculate what 6, .2, what 6 times 2 was. So here we've got 6, or here we've got 2. Uh, we know that we're not going to be able to get out to 6 because uh, it's just, it's, it'll be off the scale, so we'll use the other index. So we got that lined up. And now we have the 6 right here, and we read down, we've got 1, 1 1.1, 1 1.2. So our answer is 1.2 and it's times 10 to the 2, or 120. Let's look at how this works in action. Texas used to have a, uh, an annual slide rule competition for high school kids. And I actually have the, the test uh, questions from 1959, and they're rather interesting. But here's the, here's the cool thing about it. You have 30 minutes to answer 75, te or 75 questions and there are 60 seconds per minute, which meant that you had to answer your questions in the average of 24 seconds per question. So you see how quickly that you can do a calculation on a slide rule. It's actually kind of an interesting thing. Now that's probably enough for right now. Tomorrow what I want to do is I want to talk a little bit about some of these other scales. So we're talking about the C and the D scale, which are the main scales on the slide rule right now, and we also talked about the L scale.